Hi everyone! Today I wanna show you around our garden and share with you some tips on how you can grow calabasa on a trellis successfully. We've been growing calabasa vertically since 2018 for three reasons. Number one, to save space because we grow several calabasas at a time. Number two, to protect them from cats. Number three, so the flowers remain clean. We love, love, love squash flowers. We put them in pinakbet, dinengdeng, ginataang kalabasa, even ginisang munggo. Have you tried cooking squash flowers? I'd love to know how you enjoy them. Please share it with me in the comments below. Kalabasa is so easy to grow. All of our kalabasas are from kitchen scraps and they just grew by themselves in our compost. What we do is transfer them if they grow close together when they have about 2-3 to three true leaves. And then we put a trellis, we use bamboo or malunggay stem as the vines grow and tie it with a ribbon or string so it grows upwards. As your calabasa plant grows, it then produces flowers. First, it will produce male flowers and then eventually it will produce female flowers. The female flowers, once pollinated, will become the calabasa fruit. So, pollination can be done by pollinators like bees, but to be sure, we hand pollinate every female flower. And this is how we do it. There are times though that even if we hand pollinate, hindi pa rin nagtutuloy yung fruits. It turns brown and then nababag bumabagsak siya. I suspect because of insects. And it happens. So, okay lang. May lalabas at lalabas pa rin yan na female flowers. Do it until maging successful na siya. And so, after a few days of hand pollination, mapapansin mo na lalaki na ng lalaki yung fruits. So, when it turns big enough, it's time to put a support. Regarding watering, we water our calabasa once or twice a day depending on the weather. If it's too hot, we water it twice a day, morning and afternoon. We water it with FPJ. I've made a video about that. I will link it in the description during the growing stage. And then I shift to banana peel fertilizer when they start flowering. Banana peels are rich in potassium and nakakatulong siya na magparami ng flowers and nakakatulong din siya na magset yung fruits para hindi ito malaglag. So if you're wondering how long is the time frame from planting calabasa up to harvesting, please refer to this video clip. So now is harvest time. Yay! I got this I think from Tarlac and it's a native variety. This one is a regular calabasa that I got from the market. You'll know a calabasa is ready to harvest na when yung balat niya is may yellow tinge na. Although, okay lang naman na kumain ng kalabasa na mura pa. So, there! Yay! Free kalabasa! So cute! So, there! I hope you learned something. I hope you found inspiration. Thank you for watching and see you in my next one!